everybody and welcome to Dragon Age Origins! That's right, this is my game of choice for my next LP and I've just been dying, dying to do Dragon Age Origins for like the longest times. This is the game that introduced me to Let's Playing. I didn't even know what Let's Playing was until I played this game and I was so eager to see more footage of this game that I went on YouTube looked up Dragon Age Origins gameplay videos, and that's how I found Togoff, that's how I found Elping in general. So I owe this game a lot. It also kindled um, a passion for single-player gaming, role-playing gaming, um, story-driven gaming, basically stuff like that. So this game is huge, huge for me. Um, prior to this game, I mostly stuck around MMORPGs and stuff like that. So this game really is basically my stepping stone into single player gaming and what I consider to be like the real gritty RPG type of gaming experience. All right, so yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I didn't do it because I didn't want to do the whole LPing but know the story too much already kind of thing. I I wanted to relatively keep my LPing experiences blind. So this isn't blind, obviously, but it's been so long since I've played this game that I've forgotten so much of it. So I'm eager to get back in, eager to reacquaint myself with this game. I've purposely not looked at anything about this game after discovering LPing and starting LPing so that I can one day LP it and still kind of re-enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go in. Dragon Age Origins. Oh, this is the Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. So I do have Dragon Age Awakening. I have all the DLCs and shit like that. Um, one good thing though, like I didn't do all the DLCs before because I was kind of a cheap ass. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't buy the DLCs. The only one that I had was Stone Prisoner because I bought the game and that came with the game. So all the DLCs will be absolutely new experiences for me, except Witch Hunt because I saw that on YouTube. Anyways, let's go in. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game again. All right, and so is the Golden City blackened. With each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon us, upon all the world. Canticle of Thranides. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It 
It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. 